Hey guys, and welcome. Today we're going to do something a little different. I, I said I wanted to do some redstone tutorials, so I guess now is as good a time as any, right? Um, this right here, it just looks like a wall, right? No big deal. You pull the lever, and it's a door. <clears throat> and this, this one right here, you can only open from one side. Uh, if you want to, you can do otherwise, but you'll just have to add in some extra circuitry. This is just strictly the door. Um, I used to have a version of this that I made myself that worked better because, I don't know if you guys can see it because it might be a little laggy, but, um, the bottom pistons lag behind the top ones all the time. Like, the top ones extend first when it's closing and retract first when it's opening. And that's because this version, which does seem to be the only working version as of now, um, since, like, 1.8, I think when they messed up all the redstone. Or, no, it must have been before that. It must have been 1.7. I'm not really sure. Um, anyway. So, because ever since they did the... There's that glitch that I showed you guys one time where if you've got a piston and you power this block, then block updates make it update. Well, that, b that bug is uh, kind of what this one is based off of. There's, there's no underground wires for this one. It just strictly, this is where the power comes in, it comes over here. These pistons extend first, then these ones. Um, and this this repeater here powers both that bottom piston and this one. So, um, yeah. And then it comes up here. And this this one right here is directly above the, pist the second piston that comes out. Um, and this should only power that piston that it's on top of. But because of, I don't know if it's new or if it's old or what, but that this block being powered does the same thing to these blocks as going like this does. Um, so when you update a block next to it, it oh, wrong one, it uh, updates the block. So going like this does the same thing. So it powers both the top and the bottom ones, but the bottom ones don't realize that they're supposed to be powered until something next to them updates. Um, because these ones will push them in. Like, okay. First, this piston, these pistons are activated. Um, I'll start on this side so it's more simple because you can see where directly where it comes in. Um, this repeater is just here so that it makes it all the way across. Um, it comes in and this one, because this one has a shorter delay, this one extends first, which makes sure that these blocks get pushed out before these pistons get powered. Because, um, or before these pistons get powered. Because if these ones get powered first, then these ones will come out and extend before you can. It it just messes it up. It has to, and it also has to be this delay too. It has to be three and four. Otherwise it doesn't work. Cause the um the pistons will just let go of whatever they're doing. Those are all sticky pistons, by the way. No regular pistons. Just take that out of my inventory. Um yeah. So it just comes up and powers the top ones once they get pushed in. Because this power comes on first, because there's no delay from here all the way up to here. Um so that way, when these pistons push the other pistons forward, they get powered immediately. So that's why these ones go first, so that the blocks are already out here. So when these ones get out here, they can get pushed. And then when it lets go, or when you turn it off, the power goes out, and these ones... Uh, well, these ones will turn off first, which the top ones will turn off, because the power will disappear. And then the top ones will turn off, which will turn off... Uh, the top ones will retract, I should say. And that retracting should, I think that's, the retracting of these pistons updates the pistons below, which retracts them as well. And then, um, once they've retracted, that should all happen before these pistons lose power. Which is why the delays have to be so high, because all that has to go on before these turn off. Um, and then these ones will pull back. So yeah, let's try, this is my old version, which doesn't really work without using that same bug. Um, so let's come over here 
and I'm just going to build the doorway. Okay, now first you need to set up four pistons like this, which are the ones that push out, and then two pistons like that and whatever you want your door to be made of. So you do that on both sides. Okay, and then I'm just going to cover <laughs> cover this up so that we have our doorway on both sides. Okay, now uh, you're going to want to put these four blocks here and repeaters on both sides. Remember, these ones have to be this one. The side that the power is coming in from has to be three, and then the one behind it is four. So that way, uh, and when I say the side the power is coming in from, it's like, because on this side, we'll have the power coming in like this, and let's not, there we go. Uh, if I were doing it differently, so that, like the way I normally do it with a T flip flop and a button and everything, um, it, okay, I'll say the way these pistons are face are, <clears throat> the way these pistons are facing, you're going to want the back one to be four. All right? Does that sound good? It sounds better to me. Now, you have to have a repeater. Let's see, how does this do it? Yep, okay. have to have a repeater here. I think, is that right? Oh, no, okay. I forgot. This one goes up immediately. So, we're just going to do this part. And bring this across, and then you're going to want the four there. Put that one at four, put that one at three. And then start going up again. All right. And that just goes there. And then bring some redstone all the way across the top. And it does reach. It goes exactly 14 blocks from here to the other side. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that's as far as redstone can go, I think. It's either 14 or 6. I believe it's 14. And then that will power the pistons that get pushed into the middle. And, um... I should connect it to that. <laughs> and that's it. Um, which makes it pretty simple. The way the tutorial I watched did it was they had... Um, they just powered it like this, uh, which works just as well. It doesn't really matter where the lever is, <clears throat> as long as you have... This repeater needs to be here, unless your lever is actually right there, or alternatively, on this block, um, which works perfectly fine. You can do that too. But if you're going to be pulling the power in from somewhere else, you need a repeater there. Um, so yeah, and then you can just wall off this area... and wall off this because this a lot of redstone things don't work very well above ground which is why normally I would build this underground and I like to put the power there which just means you have to extend this out because that way you can just pull it in yay and alternatively you could do this exactly the same thing just on the other side where you just put a repeater here and do that and that and put it there and it works perfectly fine. So that's one of the good things about this design is that the signal goes all the way across in one go. So like my normal one, it's directional. You have to put the lever on one side, but this one works perfectly fine this way. And then you can come back here and again, just cover this up. And I'm, if I were doing this, I would have a ceiling right up here. Let's see, this is where the wall would be. I found that it makes it so much easier to build if you make your buildings modular, which, um, like, so that you can just repeat one pattern over and over again. And what I like to do is make 3x3 three three squares. So you've got a 3x... Th Actually, this is wrong. <laughs> I want it to be like that. Um, so that way you've got 3x3 three three here, and then two 3x3 three three areas like this. So you see you've, you've got a 3x3 three three area here and a 3x3 three three area here. So this design fits pretty well into that kind of... Um, unfortunately, it's three blocks wide here. Unless you wanted to push this back one, but you'd see these on your wall. And... 
Yeah, you could cover that up. So this would be your back side of the wall if you wanted to do it like that, but... Um, which... Oh, nope, can't get through before it closed. You know, you'd be able to see this, which I like to just cover that up. And not that one, and not that one. But yeah, <clears throat> so that's usually how I do my piston doors, which is what I wanted to do on our original base, but because I tried doing it my way, it didn't work. This is as much for me as it is for you, because I didn't know how to do this properly, but I guess this works. There's, like I said, the pistons get a little wonky with their delays, but that's how it has to be. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.